then I'm going to be taking some Watching my own tutorial. <laughs> She's spooky glam. This is gonna be fun to wash off. <laughs> this Halloween, I'm gonna get even with you. I'm a ghost, I'm a ghost, ghost. Keep it low, keep it low, low. I'm a dip to the castle in a cloak. Wiping off a little blood from my clothes, creeping. I'm a monster for the weekend. Got a long fur coat freaking. See when the truth start leaking. We could be each other's hate fuck for the evening. what's going on welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video part of my 31 days of halloween hey so this is my frankenstein inspired look i think that if bride of frankenstein and frankenstein had a baby this would be their teenage daughter <laughs> she's a little glam she's a little spooky but she's wearable she's doable she's easy i want to show you guys how i got this look so if you want to see it just keep on watching all right guys, we're starting off with a clean face and we're gonna be painting our body, so I just have my little bandeau on. I'm prepping my body, my neck, and my face with a primer from First Aid Beauty. And then we're gonna be using the Makeup Forever 12 Color Flash Palette mainly for this look. I also wanted to mention I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette a lot this Halloween, but there are some really amazing paints from Michaels called Snazaroo, and they're much more affordable because this palette right here is like, $99 I think <laughs> but Sephora does start their sale November 1st so if you really want it for next Halloween get it <laughs> um, I'm just going to set um, everything after I've done all the paint and then I filled in my brows and then I'm gonna use this Stelazi stellar palette for the shading and also on the eyes I am using tons of grays and like these zombie like colors I'm also gonna use a little bit of this dark green from Huda Beauty and I'm going to be blending this in all of the contour areas and then I just focused on the eyes it created like a green smoky eye with the grays and then using mainly those two greens from the Huda Beauty palette on the lid for the ColourPop palette I just used the yellow in it it was just like it right in front of me so I didn't use any other part of the palette just the yellow to kind of do some more creepy shading I'm then going to line my eyes and also tight line with some black liners and then we're gonna do you know what we always do apply mascara and eyelashes but I did add just a little bit more black to the smoky eye to make it a lot more smoky and I did add mascara to my brows you know just keep them in place and make them look a little more spooky <laughs> so for the stitching on the side this is inspired by my old Frankenstein look I'm going to use some black eyeshadow and then I'm gonna draw little curved lines to emulate like stitching I then put a red line right on top of the black but trying to stay like in the middle of it and then I'm going to add shading in between each of the stitches going like the opposite direction so on the bottom going down on the top going up I then added some white paint I added it to the left side of the stitches and under the stitches you don't want to add it all over because then it won't be you know 3d looking um, and then I added some more black paint to the actual stitch part so that it stood out more I then added these stickers so just in case I wanted to add this in because just in case you guys didn't feel like drawing the stitches on there's definitely stitch stickers available for like a voodoo doll makeup and whatnot so you can reuse them for this type of makeup i then added some rhinestones to the stitches to be honest with you i do not like the rhinestones that's my honest opinion but we added them anyway to make it a little more glam for the lip i just did like a dark purple lip from mac and then added some red lip lip gloss from buxom on top so that it was nice and like berry and then for the hair i'm essentially just teasing the entire front of it so that it stays back and then adding some white hairspray to the sides and this is the final look all right guys that's it for this video thank you so much for tuning in and watching i appreciate you to the moon and back i hope you enjoyed this one if you did give it a thumbs up check out all my other videos right here and don't forget to subscribe to me so you don't miss out on a single another video okay See you guys tomorrow. Bye.